Instructions say you need to plug the charger into the wall first and then plug the charger into oh, let's see when I plug this in it should turn red so I'm plugging it in now and yes now it's charging and when it's done charging it turns green As you can see, there's a handy little cover for the charging port. I'll just close that up. The Jetson Breeze is equipped with two 10-inch tires. The back tire has a disc brake. Uh, I know that you want to avoid hitting or scratching the disc brake at all costs. I find that the wheels actually are quite quite nice, um, good traction, and also allows you because they're they're bigger. They allow you to go over bumps and cracks that smaller wheels probably don't allow you to do. Um, it does it doesn't have any shocks, but I haven't missed them because the wheels are big. Okay, now I'm going to set this thing up for you. The first thing I do is I turn it right side up here and pull out the handlebar lock until it clicks. Put down the kickstand so you don't have to hold it anymore. At this point you can insert the handlebar handles, flip them up and push them in until they click. And after that you can pull up the handlebars to your adjusted height, lock it down, Flip up the kickstand, turn on the scooter, and away we go. So let's look at the brains of the scooter, and here's where you turn it on. See the uh, power button? We'll hold that, and it should turn on. Hello? There it is. Okay, and so right now it's in third gear, and this is how far I've gone since my last odometer reset, um, the trip. And this is the speed here, We're going zero miles an hour. It's fully charged down the bottom, you see. So uh, some of the other things you can do here is, um, if you hold this button here, you hold it down, it will turn on the light in the front. So I'll hold that down and you can see the light went on there. And I'll turn it off by holding it again. All right. If I apply the brakes also, uh, especially this, this brake, only this brake actually, it uh, flashes, kind of let people know I'm stopped. And there's a tail light here which also flashes. And when you turn on your, uh, your lights, which we'll do now, it also stays on. And what happens when you it flashes when you hit the brakes. All right. I haven't uh, had enough experience yet to see how much the lights drain the battery, but I imagine it's not too much. They're probably LED, and compared to hauling my fat ass around, it's probably a little bit, just a little bit comparatively. Oh, here's something nice. I like I like the sound of this uh, little bell. Nice bell quite loud, but sometimes people can't hear you even though it is loud. Um, so I've met people on bridges that didn't hear me coming even though I was dinging away. What else? Nice handle here for picking it up. And it also, because the handle's on that side, it also keeps you from uh, putting the brake, the disc brake on the ground or scraping the because you're going to pick it up by there, so this will be in the air. What else we got? Oh yeah, now back to uh, the, the brains of the scooter. So if you hold the plus and minus, let's see if I, right now I'm in third gear, like I said, I can bring it down to second gear, first gear. First gear is kind of like walking, a little faster than walking. Second gear is somewhere between walking and jogging, and third, third gear is faster than you can run. Uh, if you hold two things together, you can go into the settings there, 
and I'm trying to remember what that one is. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, the next one, whoops, let's go back. BL, I'm not sure what that one is. The second one is the top speed in third gear. So I'm going to turn that up to 18. I don't think I've ever gotten past 17, even going downhill. It seems to have a governor on it that doesn't want you to go past that. That's okay. I think it's fast enough for the most part. Um, so I'll go to the next thing. Whoops. We'll go back into the, go back into that. Hello. Okay, so that's the top speed, and then cruise. So you're saying right now cruise is off. If I had that on, I turned it on just to show you what it looks like when it's on. It's a yes versus an N for no. Uh, if that's on, then if you hold the throttle down for 10 seconds, it turns into it starts cruise control automatically. It can be really good if you got a long way to go, but um, sometimes it'll you'll forget that you have it on, and then uh, the way to turn it off is to either hit the accelerator again or hit the disc brake. The front brake I don't think uh, stops cruise control. So if you hold that down for a long time, it'll bring you back. There was also fourth fourth setting. I don't know what that was either. Um, not sure. Anyway.